today we have a really special episode because today we are hanging out with Adam's Master Build 800 Gravity Series. Today in this episode, we are going to review this grill. We are gonna pull off some amazing venison roast from a buck that we harvested last fall during the Wisconsin gun deer season. But before we get into the episode, we have a flash giveaway. And today we want to give some uh, No Idea merch and we want to give it away to one of our subscribers and we are giving it to a Chad. I think it's a Chad from Appleton. Chad happens to be our number one fan, but Chad also happens to be our number one critic. So Chad, congratulations. Why don't you comment down below? Let us know how we can get you this So, this is Adam. And that's Aaron. And we are here to share with you the Master Built Grill. And before we do that, remember, if you find something that you like in this video, uh, please give us a thumbs up. If you enjoy our videos, it'd be awesome if you would hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications as well. So here we go. The Master Built 800 Gravity Series. Adam, You've had this thing now for about four months, right? And so you've been able to grill on this thing over a dozen times. Um, what, are, what are your first impressions of the master built 800 gravity series? It's, leave it, it's living up to everything that they said it would be. I mean, it's supposed to be the versatility of a green egg, uh, but the simplicity of a Traeger and it definitely is that. It's very simple. It's kind of a set it and forget it kind of easy bake oven type of thing but yet it can go as hot as 700 or as low as 150. So I've done everything from smoked salmon to seared steaks. Master Built 800 Gravity Series. This is a charcoal grill, correct? I mean, we're not talking about a pellet grill or anything like that. Correct. This is legit charcoal. It's charcoal. So you can use anything without chemicals, lump charcoal or briquettes, as long as there's no chemicals in it, no lighter fluid, anything like that. Have you found uh, a charcoal that you like? Have you used much? I mean, because. I think you said, hey, there's some charcoal snobs out <laughs> yeah. there. There's gonna be some people that see the Cowboy brand. Actually, this is the first bag of Cowboy that I bought. It's fine. My, the thing I found is if you shut this thing off and you leave this closed, there's gonna be condensation that builds up inherently. Uh, either try to run your, tr your hopper low all the time or uh, open it up, try to keep the car charcoal dry. Uh, you know, don't, don't buy a bag of charcoal and store it for three weeks, but try to buy it fresh. And yep. charcoal's charcoal. And do you need to use Cowboy brand? Do you need to use a specific brand or what? Nope, you can use any brand. Again, you can use Kingsford briquettes as long as there's no chemicals in them or just a random old lump charcoal. You guys make their own charcoal too. So you grill and you can smoke. Tell us a little bit about wood chips. What can you do with wood chips with this thing? So smoking typically when, you, you know, when you're getting below the probably the 275, 250 range, then you can really get into quite a bit of smoke. Um, Smoke you can add with the charcoal into the hopper as it goes through, which we'll explain in a second, or down there in the ash bucket you can throw and then the, the coals kind of fall onto it and help it smolder. Okay. Walk the people through a Master Bill 800 Gravity Series, everything from over there all the way to over here in the charcoal. Yep, well let's start right there. This is the charcoal hopper. This is where there's a sleeve in there. You pour the charcoal into it. It sits on a grate. Uh, you light it from underneath. It'll burn, and as it burns, more fall, uh, more charcoal falls down, and hence the gravity series. Gravity. Boom, gravity. right? Gravity. So gotcha. underneath, the nice thing about this is it doesn't take a whole lot of electricity to run. You can run this off a DeWalt battery, like a DeWalt 20 volt with okay. an adapter to it, because it's only a fan. It's a just a little bit bigger than a computer fan that, that once it gets lit, the fan controls the airflow and the temperature. So there's no heating element in this. So down below, there'll be a fan that blows in, um, as the charcoal burns and then it essentially reverse flows back into a baffle that's underneath the grates nice. in there. All right. So on this side, um, this is all the kind of the nuts and bolts of it all. Uh, you got your temperature gauge. You does have room for meat probes. I, I like to use a uh, instant read thermometer, uh, but then also you can set a timer to have the cook shut off uh, at a certain time. It also does connect Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So when you're at work, and you're gonna smoke something or you're gonna grill something really low heat for a really long time, you can control it from your phone at work. In theory, yes. In theory. Okay, In theory. cool, yep. cool, cool. That's pretty awesome. Yep. Open up the hood. Let's see what's underneath. 
<laughs> All right, and we do have venison ham on here. Typically, you're going to tie the venison hams together. I got a little lazy with it. We can still cook. These have been on for about four and a half hours. Uh, using a Stephen Ranella, the meat eater recipe for venison ham. as I've done it before. It's turned out amazing. Um, but yeah, we got two uh, sets of racks here. You got your grilled grates down there. You can do uh, sear or smoke. And then underneath, you have your baffle right there. Can you accessorize your Masterbuilt 800 Gravity Series? R really? Master built, I haven't found that they don't necessarily produce a bunch of add ons to this. There are modifications. This is the 800, and this 800 does come with a griddle that oh, cool. you can snap in and snap out. Comes with a different baffle there underneath that you just store there. So you can do everything a Blackstone does uh, just within a matter of, of a few minutes of sw swapping things out. Okay. Um, otherwise, there are modifications uh, with certain things. You know, any. Typically, electronics and heat don't mix very well. Uh, so yeah, there's some things that wear out. Uh, these things right here, if you want to get close there. The safety measures, these are little switches that when that's open, the fan shuts off so you don't create this chimney effect. But when it comes to add-on accessories, it's more modifications. Um, Luke Symington, uh, LSS Mods, that's who I go through. He makes amazing modifications. Um, one modification that I have ordered already, these are half racks up here. Uh, he makes a full rack for this, so it, it essentially almost doubles your uh, size in your cooking grid there. Um, another mod that I already have from him is just, it helps seal this, because if you have any leaks, then you, it's just not, not as efficient. So it just helps create uh, more efficiency. It's just a, a cover right there. That's hot. That's hot, dude. Uh, just a cover to go over that to help seal it a little bit better. So again, the modifications aren't necessarily to make it um, more luxurious or anything it just helps it be more efficient we'll include a link to luke's website for all the modifications and accessories that he creates for the master built yeah. gravity series as well so you can check those out uh, right below the video here tell us what have you found over the last four months that typically or that would be a con that you would say yeah one of the biggest concerns again that electronics and heat those switches i've noticed you know my hood switch is already tweaking out um, so I'm going to need to somehow adjust that and make a modification myself. Uh, you can order this stuff back through uh, Masterbuilt. They do have great customer service uh, in regards to, hey, this has gone out. I'm still under warranty. Another con is just going to be flat out the thickness, the gauge of the steel. I mean, this is not going to be an end-all, be-all grill. I would say a 7 to 10-year grill. Uh, for someone like me, I, I'm grilling two to three times a week, mm -hmm. uh, putting a lot of meat across this. I can, you know, you can fix things and get mods for things, but eventually it just, you know, this is stored inside and that was my big recommendation. Keep this thing inside, take good care of it. I know they make covers, but keep it inside. Just the thickness though. But as we all know, the minute you go a thicker gauge steel with it, it becomes heavier, more clunky. Uh, the cost goes up tremendously on, on that type of stuff. So it is what it is. I've accepted it, it's fine. So, and that's where you get into kind of the pros to segue into the pros then. The pros, price point on this thing. This is a six to $700 grill. Uh, to get the cooking space on this as a green egg, as you would a green egg, you're gonna be spending yeah. three times as much as, yeah. as you would on this. So there's, there's nothing against green eggs. There's nothing against this stuff. The, all these grills out there, they can cook great stuff. But if your budget is within that $700 range and you want that versatility of a, of a green egg, you want the simplicity of a Traeger, that's definitely a pro. Because the, the price point I think is the, is the greatest pro. Another pro on this thing is, and I know it's versatility, but we love wild game. Mm -hmm. And there's a million ways to cook wild game. Um, and yeah, we can sear a tomahawk steak on this thing at 650 degrees. Or, you know, I've got this set at 185. We can float at 185 for a while. We've done some jerky on here at 165. And it's been absolutely incredible for that too. And I don't know many smokers or, or grills out there that you can get that consistent a temperature at that low and that wide of a range. Well, if you want to see that Tomahawk steak episode, I would really encourage you to click on the link right up here because he uses this thing to grill over $600 worth <laughs> of ribeye steaks, and it is amazing. So, well, that's cool, man. This is pretty cool. So you yeah. would, would you give this a thumbs up, thumbs down? You Would you recommend the Masterbuilt 800 Gravity Series uh, to somebody who's in the market to look for a good, uh, lasting grill, uh, something that's also simple uh, for anybody to use? Yeah, especially if you're on a budget. I mean, 
the, you know, the minute you get up over $1,000, $1,500, yeah, your options open up definitely. But if you're looking something under a thousand bucks with a, that versatility, this is absolutely the way to go. And it is simple enough where most people can figure this thing out. Um, I do wish my one, my one dream would be maybe Masterbuilt comes out with like a commercial grade of this. Something that is a little bit thicker, a little bit, you know, heavier, heavier duty, something a little more commercial where, yeah, it, it might be a $2,000 grill, but it's going to last a lot longer. All right. I don't know about you, but it's time to grab another beer, another White Claw <laughs> to dive into these venison roasts, see how they taste. So again, if you like this video, it'd be awesome if you give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, man, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel as well. So, okay. Good talk. See you out there.